Tell me why he ain't not that copyright my fault. We're back with another Well, welcome back. Since it's been like years since I touched this game. I'm not gonna lie, I had to have something to play. I was like, let's boot it back up, I guess. You feel me? I kind of remember where we left off, but it's kind of like, I don't know for sure. So it's like we've done this already. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? Huh. I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just... Try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Okay. I thought I could reach- Hey, you! Oh. Hey! Isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24 seven, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally... You're just gonna randomly pick up hey, the axe. I'm all for like, efficiency. I wanna chop this block. Cannot wait for I us mean, to get weird. out of here. <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh, okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm more of a. I'm studying to be a chef, so. Uh, loner. You know it'll I'm be not good eating. Lie, alone with... And hey, I only snore during allergy season and baseball. How can I say no to that? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> Smeagol is Oh, look crazy. at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide. Oh, I thought she was <laughs> vegetarian. Never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our Unless shopping. I forgot she yeah, was, maybe. I'll be around if you need anything. Nah. Dang, all of a sudden I start running. I forgot. What I do, space party yeah, up. There it is. Should we go inside or charge your horses? I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. True. Tessa's cooking. But I only... She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. So you're gonna sit there? You about to get right back up? I already know. How am I supposed to... Oh. 
It's a dome. You're gonna fall, stupid. No. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Such a great, 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 great. Great, great siblings. Could y'all ever live like in a small town like this? Like, I'm telling you, it's no cities. I mean, for someone that doesn't want to travel, I guess it would be the perfect place. Probably prices are low. I don't know. I don't want to look at that. Well, what are we waiting for? We're inside. Relax. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Y'all like fishing? I like, kind of okay. like fishing. so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. If there's I'm no sorry. flies. You think you could take a if picture it's of this? cool. Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. And I wish I had different bait. I don't feel like always putting darn yuck, nasty worms pooping on my hand and guts spilling out. Let me get gloves on first. Word. Plus, I need a good fishing spotlight. Come on now. No way. The Trout King is still here. I gotta look at the Trout King for. Ah, I was good, homie. How many hours did we spend here as kids? Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. I don't know. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. We found something like... I mean, maybe I know what we found. Oh. It was just kind of unsettling to go back to the old house after all this time. How are you feeling? Still Bro. unsettled, but all it'll these pass. Questions. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Appreciate it. I'll remember that. What, we, what kind of snacks we got? I'm not going to lie. Mm, all these are for sure something so, you've never heard of what to do you avoid think copyright. Snack -wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? I'm kind of 
kind of a candy. I like my sweets. I do like chips too, but. Oh man, I haven't had a candy bar in forever. Candy was currency at Fireweed. You gonna like buy ramen it? in state prison. Well, you won't need to trade any shifts for these. Bro, buy me something, bro. Don't ask him nothing. Got any big plans in Juno? Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a passable cooking school there. What's this? I'm gonna be a chef. Oh. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, peonies. toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Holla, holly can. That pumpkin's like huge. Blue. Plain candles are fine. Plain? Dang it. I don't do plain. How'd you. How am I supposed to know that was plain, bro? Michael. You want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? This has some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. That really is one enormous pumpkin. So is that real just sitting there? It's about to rot. Flies about to come in. Yuck. It's about to smell. So cleaning problem. Grotesque. You think we should get the organic one? Oh, I thought or he was talking to him again, like, killer. dang. No go organic. Judging by the state of the house, I think we're gonna need top of the line. Planet killer it is, then. Dang, I could've, I could've went up to the register. Man, I wish we had a toaster. We could stock up on frozen waffles. Um, is there a toaster? Tyler. You want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Grape soda could be cool. Grape soda it is. Ooh, getting wild. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. We need uh, uh, at least uh, 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 uh. one more candy. Like, I ain't going... I need some more candy. What is that? Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns Allison, for safety. I'm waiting, and as groceries. you know, Bro, I we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Deck in mm. the throat. Always rushing me. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Where's Jerry? Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? Yes, really. We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. You just don't want to talk about it? I know, it. but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. Her avoiding like the she's conversation. Got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it. What too. you smell it? It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Yes. I'm so.
also a memories here and we never sensed it, like... Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? That's crazy, like how? Okay, so... Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. Or do I... I need to start... Choose. Start Dang. calling in your debts. Choose. No, Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on her. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling... Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? You hearing this? Hmm. Marianne was looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? It's so hard because a uh, 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 Tess, how Tess was responding to us, like avoiding it. It's kind of like one of those trying to keep us safe from the truth because it's going to hurt us and trying to be nice with it. Which is it going to be? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just I'll trying. To say. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it, hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear How anything to after she cranked up the straight. music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. She's in this office? I swear I, I looked in there. Oh. Hey. Nine to fives, boy. The nine to fives. Jeez. I think that's nine. But I'll be working them eight to eight, nine. Eight to nine. Eight a.m. P.m. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Take What's that. this doing here? Yup. Don't mind me. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. 
Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Alright, Tess. Spill it, girl. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Hey, excuses. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her it's down like, when we don't even know what right we mean. You're right beside the wall. Like, if we could pinpoint that wall, what it was it. about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Excuse me. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. Appreciate uh, it. A little worse for the wear, of course. Don't hurt your back. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? I think so. We were dancing. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> Oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. You know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I think the mother was here. cool like this, like, hot. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more men working around? I don't know. We'll see. There's one, like, right here. They're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. What you grab? There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Clean. I did like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. 
Pretty sure I saw one Mark 2004 in the office closet. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Here, yeah. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Uh, Tessa? I Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Now you want the computer after I'm on it? It's crazy. Don't miss out the opportunity. Scam, okay. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Mm, shopping. Just got back from work. Wait, what is this for? Are you sister? And we're back with yes. Is there something I can do for you? Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? <laughs> hmm. No, maybe not. Yeah, let's make sure we've been thorough. Okay, we'll be thorough. Stupid. Like. What is there more to see if you don't get out the way? Because I got no vision. Nope, we good, we good. Let's go ask her. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah. Oh. I think they're all piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. Nope, but... I mean... A second. Can I help you, Allison? Well, I oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking this for notebook? something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? June 24 for the mirror for the race paid off. Doll for the kid. So this is for people. Eric B. I didn't mean to close it. I meant to. So we're looking for Marianne. Come on now, turn the page. Fiesta. Bro. Is it just those two pages? I gotta look at this. I did. Yup, there it is. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before. That night. Check balance. I think we've seen enough. Calls. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Get off. Let's talk to Tessa. So, in October, she start doing some things missing. All right. It is quiet up in here. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your show last week. Ah, uh, you didn't. Is there something I can do for you? We're back. 
with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one yes, of her days. Really? You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. It has to be October. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You're mad. She bailed on you. You tell her about the camp. She was done being judged. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? No way. This one, right? I think it was Camp of the Transitional Spirit or something. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. No, that's not true. I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Your mother acted erratic for months. Yeah, she was the right we one. fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now. So I need to ask you to leave. Sure, we'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Dang, they just had it on hold like that. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. That's clean. But ooh, I can feel that feeling that when I move a out. New box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Apartment. Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. So we gotta talk to the cop. Okay. To a cop. Okay, a hey, talk to a cop. Talk to talk to talk to talk to a talk to talk to talk to a cop. Hope y'all day is doing exceptionally ordinary. Not really ordinary. Hopefully, you've done something wild though. Not too wild. <laughs>
This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. Bet. Damn, they've still got this creepy mascot, huh? Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever I Eddie was working. To that, but the whole fine. precinct's basically family. Hmm. You said we're about to find here. some things? Just, that door is locked. Stop it. <clears throat> locked. No, I was like, if it says look. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, crazy. Oh no, it was her birthday. Whoops. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. That's a great excuse. Like, I'm supposed to write. Mm. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. W. Dang, if you can just go into a police. I can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. Yeah, I heard about that. It's so messed up. Where at? It's probably upstairs then. Kick it down. What the heck? Something's in the way. <laughs> Don't kick it down. Never mind. What you trying to get? Oh, I thought he was at the vending machine. Okay, we gotta go upstairs. Mm. Tyler, you coming? I guess it wasn't upstairs. I can't run. Hello? Where would it be? Oh. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find... I don't know. I don't know, but it's <laughs> off limits anyway. I was listening to that, like... Allison, hey! You're... Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Coffee. I like sweet coffee, boy. I meant sugar. I mean, it's the same thing, but... It's the same outfit that was upstairs, right? Wait, here we um, go again. The break room is right here. I'm not here. here too. I'm not ready. 
where we are now. Oh. Something's in the way. Get out the way, boy. That's a key right there. Hold on. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Huh. Okay, take Looks it. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. I'm not trying to look at nothing else. I'm like that. I mean, I should be, like, invested in this game and be like, what's this, what's that, what's that, what's this? But that's not unless it's a game I really care about. Really care about. Hold on, is that food though? Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Dang it. I couldn't take. Where's the break room? Either. Holding cell. Whatever this is. Oh, the bet. never lets me back here. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. It's huh. always gonna be there, bro. Rose left the computer on. Use it. The password is to... You got me. A what? How am I supposed to know? Sesame. Okay, let's go in. Who phone? So I have to go back to the key now? Yep, it's locked. Who's phone? It Officer sounds like it's Vincenzi. right there. Hey, is this crazy D's locker? Hey, she's Delos Crossing's best cop. Other than Eddie, of course. My bad. I wonder what Delos. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. I'm hungry, but there's not some cookies, boy. This is your lunch area. Keep it clean. Facts. Look at that pizza. Um, I don't see no mold, but still, it probably is under it. This is heavier than I expected. I don't know how. It's on wheels. Mm. Wait. This was blocking the way. Okay, it was okay. Wait, let me see, let me see if I can get the key now. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? Exactly. Exploring, see, I do a little exploring here and there, boy. Secrets. We really shouldn't be in here. We yes, should. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. 
So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah. Wait, where's the like password? Two goblin intruders. Well, please note the recession desk computer can now be actually using any officer's ID and password. But what is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Balto came through. But, but, am I blind? Am I blind? Winter on my 20th birthday. Hmm. It must be Rosie, maybe. 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 Now who's yawning, bro? Don't make me yawn like that, bro. You saw me yawning. I don't know what the password is. Still. Dang, this is slow. My fault, my fault. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Oh, I thought, I forgot. It was the other one. You need a coffee? Come on, bro. Wait. gonna catch this guy what exactly did he do I want to know I don't want to don't talk about it let's see what the options is done for mailboxes forget about it this guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online <laughs> uh, never mind this is still warm you sure you want coffee this late in the day you'll be up all night uh I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those He's dusty yawning. couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? <laughs> I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't, please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? I wanted to know what these pa the password is. I wanted to look on. Wow. It's the first time I've been Move in it. here since. I want to go in here. That night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here, um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Oh, sorry. Language. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Wait, 
did. So that was all. That that that, 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 that was all that was in here. Time to go. I don't care about that. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Do you think I'm okay? Try my best not to remember Are you that okay? Night when I'm here. I would too. Oh, hey, sorry that took so long. I got hungry, but we Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> Uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I always say children are the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Yeah. He's look cool. at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> Yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Marianne worried about something. What were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day anything at all no everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise did you see her at all like in those last few days no I hadn't seen her for weeks maybe a month before mm. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. So she cared about me, for me. She loved who I am now or who I've become either way. I'm still her son, or, yeah, who, I say that. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us, or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? 
you still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Um, I mean, being kept apart was wrong, and he did his best for me. I don't know what to really do. I mean, being apart from your sibling was kind of wrong because we didn't have any beef with each other or whatnot. We didn't have... You feel me? Like, why did we have to be apart like that? I mean, why? Why? <laughs> Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. Yeah. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up, and we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay. Oh, facts, me too. Let's go. Me either. Let me get a quarter pounder with large fries and a large Sprite. Could be cool. Hey, yo. Uh, hey, yo. Who's that in the back? Mad Hunter. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No, please. Tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> I come back. 
back to. Is this a sneak peek? So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Hopefully this isn't the last of it. I swear there's more. But appreciate you for coming through. Hit that follow, like, notification bell. No, I'm always posting. And don't forget, bro. You're a hero. At the edge of the game, we all are heroes just like you <laughs> Thank you.